Hello, I present Giant Trans Free on bigger 29 inch wheels from 2020 in size large. Trans is a model which Giant has been developing for a very long time and introduces some minor changes every few years. Visually, this model and the latest one are almost identical, but they have different hangers, geometry with possibility its adjustment by a flip chip, covers, inserts, additional mount on the top tube, probably a few more details, and the price. Because there is no longer cheaper version 3, which cost 2000 euro in 2020, currently the cheapest Trans 2 is priced at 2900 euros. This version has pretty good suspension with Fox rear shock and Marzocchi Bomber Z2 fork with cheaper rail damper. It is similar, but not identical, twin brother of Fox 34, because as you can see it lacks rebound adjustment knob at the bottom and this from Fox was too small. Shimano MT400 brakes have two finger levers, but they work fine and I had no problems with them. Another good part of trans specification are Maxxis tires and that is the end of its pluses. The big downside are heavy wheels with very weak rims, but it's a common problem in giant bikes. Fortunately, there is a standard boost spacing and those wheels will be changed soon for DT1900. However, the weakest element is the 12 speed SRAM SX drivetrain. I will not waste time describing them, everyone knows that SX are just bad. Trans as a stock bike weighs almost 15 kg, and of course, I will try to make it lighter so it could be faster and livelier as it should be from the beginning. Links to parts I used you will find in the upper right corner and in the description. I replaced Z2 with RockShox Revelation with 140mm of travel and charger damper, so I can say it's bike select. SX drivetrain gave way to much lighter and better functioning 11-speed Shimano XT8000 with narrow wide decas chainring. I also changed heavy Maxxis tires with the lightest Racing Protection 2.2 because this bike will be used for longer trips and light trail riding. That is why I also installed Ergon GA2 grips with very comfortable ProLT high-rise handlebar, which changed riding position to more upright. Old and barely alive small VP platforms I replaced with proven, solid and light plastic HTPAs with replaceable steel pins. In this configuration bike weighs just over 13 kg and of course, as I said, there is still wheels to change, on which I could probably save about 500 grams. I would also recommend to install new brakes with one finger levers such as budget Dior 6100 or SLX and maybe I would be tempted to use stiffers from GX or Shimano SLX cranks. With such modifications this bike would weigh less than 13 kg, become even livelier and you could unlock its full potential which Giant has been perfecting for so many years. Thanks for watching and if you have any questions feel free to write in the comments and if you like the video drop a like and subscribe my channel where I publish new movies every Monday and Thursday. See ya!